The letter to District 3 Supervisor John Thomas came to the Batesville Courthouse by mail last week. It reads, if you don't start working on the roads in Enid Shores by September 1st, I will kill your entire family and then you. I'm uh, Sheriff Shane Phelps uh, here. I'm Sheriff here in Manola County. Sheriff Shane Phelps leads the investigation and says his detectives already have a person of interest in the case. He would not release the person's identity, but the Delta News has learned that person of interest was involved in a traffic accident shortly after the discovery of the letter and ended up in a Memphis hospital. Most people believe the person making the threat lives in the Enid Shores area in South Panola near the Yalabusha County line. The roads in question are actually private roads owned by the Enid Shores Residents Association. Google Earth images show the Enid Shores roads to all be dirt roads. Since Enid Shores was established as a private community, people who live there bear the responsibility of maintaining their own roads, as Mississippi has strict laws against using taxpayer money to maintain private roads. Folks in Enid Shores have petitioned the county several times to take over their roads, but the county leaders refuse to act. Why? Consider this. A subdivision built in the 1960s, say, might have good roads to start, but if they don't get maintained, they can end up looking something like this. Now, as a taxpayer, do you want to have to pay for fishing an issue like this on someone's private property? It's why many counties across the country have passed ordinances to stop the takeover of substandard roads that taxpayers would then have to fix. That keeps road money in the road budget for public roads and highways. Which brings us back to the death threat, which has many people scratching their heads as to why someone would threaten a public official over a private road. What concerns most people is the threat included the politician's family, raising that level of concern. Some say the matter should go to the FBI, and the person should face serious federal charges. But for now, that remains in the hands of the sheriff. Dennis Turner, The Delta News.